Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G-Bears Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. It's a dog day afternoon. They just had their dinner, and they had their chew toy or, or chew treat, which is a chicken-flavored uh, rye chip. It takes them a while to, chip, uh, to chew the chip, and they can't swallow it because it's too flat and wide to go down the throat, so they have to chew it all the way up. So that keeps them busy for a good 20 minutes anyway. Now the only one that hasn't finished was Gillis, who's hiding over there behind the bush. But he did take it over there and drop it, and then come back looking to steal somebody else's. But I caught him, and I sent him to, back to get his, so he's back there and he's still chewing on it. And then of course Patches went over and wanted to, to go get it. I've been working with them on a little bit of training. Hey, Dioji. 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 Come here. Come here, boy. Come here. Want to get your head scratched? Sit. 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 Good boy. Good boy, sit. Good boy. How about you? You want to sit? Oh. You just finished your chew toy, huh? All right. So I had uh, both Shorty and uh, D.O.G. doing the sit, sit, no jumping up. Good boy, sit. No, not you, you're no jumping up. No, no, you're gonna get a whop on the nose. That's a no, you don't bite at my hand. All right, okay. So anyway, um, I did go into town today because um, Tractor Supply has been out of uh, chicken scratch for the past week. And finally, I uh, located some in Barstow. I had to drive all the way to Barstow to get it. And, uh, and while I got there, it wasn't too bad of a deal because they had it on special buy um, the second bag and get 10% off. So I did that, I bought two bags, so it'll last me a little while longer. And then they had um, Marabone dog treats in the uh, big, uh, like 10 pound bags, big, big ones. And uh, they were, I think it was uh, $15 a bag. And if you buy um, a second bag, you get it at 70% off. So I got two bags of those, even though my um, puppy money is low. That was a deal I couldn't pass up and I'll just have to work on shifting some things around to make sure that it, it works out for the end of the month. I was just inside doing bills and, oh, it's gonna be a tight month, real tight month. So I may have to do without um, of course, what can you say, you know, got to do it, right? You got to do what you got to do. That's what I say. So anyway, when I was at tractor supply, I was on my way in and I saw an employee coming out. So I held the door for him and he was wheeling a snow blower. And I kind of looked at him strange and I couldn't help but saying on its way out, it's, there ain't no snow out there. And he just smiled. But apparently somebody thinks there's gonna be some snow around because they're buying a snow blower. So we'll have to see what happens with that. I know uh, Monday they're talking about a very slight chance of precipitation. But uh, they said it's a better chance on Friday. But neither one is a guarantee. So they're both gonna be chances Right, Patches? Patches is still shy. He'd rather deal with dogs and try to show his strength rather than, uh, what are you, crazy? Chasing your own tail? Uh, did you eat yours, Gillis? You did, huh? Well, everybody else ate theirs too, so you can't steal anything. Uh, 
you guys are done for the night. I'll find out which one of you guys chewed up your secondary water bowl. I know one of you did it. And by the teeth marks on the side of it, I would say I'm looking at the guy. But somebody likes to, to chew plastic, and the reason I say that is because I saw Gillis chewing up my coyote feeder uh, bucket over there. He took a whole side off of there overnight. Uh, it was there one, one night. I got up the next morning and it was gone. So, that's what these dogs were doing to survive, was eating just about anything they find. Um, wood, tree branches. I see them chewing, taking blocks of wood out of my uh, fire area and uh, laying down and chewing on it like a dog bone. And then I see them every now and then going over to a branch, like at this tree or this bush, and chewing on the edge of a branch. And they've already chewed the branches off of that uh, mulberry tree over there. So I gotta make sure I train them to know that uh, my trees don't get chewed. They can chew on anything else they want. So anyway, their toys are doing well. Um, these are a couple of rope toys that I got for them. There's two more over there that Sherry the secretary sent. And uh, they keep them over here because they like laying on this hill and get, catching the sun. And they, they dig their little pockets in the side of it and lay down in that. But uh, every now and then one of them will get up and grab one of these toys and bring it over and tease the other one with it till they grab onto it and then they get a tug of war going. Excuse me. <coughs> Gotta caught that sun right in the corner of my eye. So anyway, nice day today. Got up to 72 degrees. And uh, that's Fahrenheit. So that was nice. Oh, I'm seeing stuff around here that's not supposed to be around here. You guys been chewing everything. And you got chew toys. I don't know why you don't go chew your chew toys. Who wants to play tug of war with this one? Huh? Who wants to play tug of war with this one? Huh? Come on, get a hold. There you go. All right, get a hold. All right. I'll play with you some time later. I've got to close off this video and go post it because uh, there's so many travelers. They're using up all the bandwidth here in the desert, and it's taking extra time to upload my videos. Um, it'll probably settle down after the holidays, but uh, for right now... It, uh, it's just time consuming. So I'm gonna go in. Uh, that uh, chicken I made for my Thanksgiving dinner was outstandingly delicious. It was moist and fall off the bone tender and just as sweet as can be. And uh, I still have some chicken breast left over. So I pulled some carrots out of the garden and that's the last of the carrots for this year but I'm gonna go inside and make a nice pot of uh, chicken noodle soup with uh, carrots and I like using uh, linguine noodles. I break them down into about uh, inch and a half to two inch uh, pieces and uh, cook those in with it. And uh, that's gonna be my dinner for tonight with uh, some leftover French rolls from Thanksgiving dinner. And uh, we'll move on from there. And uh, of course, my friend down there in Australia, yes, you, you know, the gravy hound, the one who wants my gravy. <laughs> we, well, I'm gonna be uh, showing you how to make that gravy because um, on the chicken I bought for Thanksgiving, and I didn't do a turkey because there's only one of me here, and uh, that would be a big waste of money, especially the price of those things. Yeah, I, I walked into one place, I was looking, and the lowest price I saw on a turkey was like $34. Uh, 
And that was the smallest one in the group. I was like, you are got to be kidding me. I remember you used to buy turkeys for seven, eight, nine bucks a piece. What the hell's going on? So, let's go, Brandon. So, the dogs are going to play and wear themselves out a little bit now, and then they'll all lay down and take a nap. That's it, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget your thumbs ups, and don't forget to share and subscribe. Um, please, please get people to subscribe. Um, the more subscriptions I get, uh, the, the more my income goes up. So I'd appreciate that. This is G-Bear signing off.